What's up, modern steaders? Today, we're gonna to be working on siding the other side of the off-grid outdoor kitchen that has the four-foot overhang on it. Let me show you what we've already gotten done. It's hard to see, but I put two soffit boards up yesterday for the eave overhang, so now we can start running our board straight up. I got our filler strip put in, and a little bit of a block right here for the window. So we gotta rip our first piece down to three and a half inches wide. And then we're gonna start with our half wall. I wanted to show you something. I went to the lumber yard this morning and got the lumber. It's been sitting in the truck for a few hours now in the sun. See how much is already curling from the sun baking it? I'll go show you the board I just cut. I don't know if this will show up or not, but can you see that? That's why we nail it quite a bit. We don't want to have to worry about that when it's on the wall drying. I love the siding. Just like the look of it. it looks so nice. Luckily we have half a box left. Yeah, oh, rough cut. Different thicknesses in different areas. You gotta keep marking and trimming so you don't get the dog tooth effect on your siding. What? what kind of order do we want to do this? So we want to kind of keep it random. We don't want everything the same. Let's go to a small one now and then we'll go to a little bit more of a wider one after. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Past the window. I believe one more board after these ones. I should have this all sided today. Well, at least this end, I should say. I'm still gonna have to finish up the soffit overhang. Then we're gonna have some trim work to do, but it's making me happy. It's all getting closed in. It'll be ready for our hand hewn farm three day hog harvesting class. I was just saying to Gina, it kind of makes me think we should have sided our house this way. Be interesting to see what this looks like once it's all dried and the it's been sitting out in the weather for six months or so. Now we need to figure out the width of our last board. So six and three quarters will bring us right tight to here. So that's what we gotta aim for. I don't know if we'll have a rough cut board that wide. We'll probably have to rip one. Now when you're setting a table saw fence, you want to mark the width to the inside of your blade. And you want to check both ends. Make sure your fence is square. Alright, let's see how good of a job we did. Say the heights off. Happy with that. Nice. The back and forth can eat up some time, but the finished product, it's worth it. one in place. Find the overall length. Should be back to 108 and a quarter, 108 and a half. It's always fun deciding what side you like looking at better. Gap tightened up. Yeah. All right, let's use this wide board. What does it measure? Twelve and a quarter inches wide. Look at this nice wide board. It's nice. It's not warped. It was a pain in the butt to cut it because it's so wide. I was going to say, I hope this one has a nice tight line because there's no way you're even ratchet strapping that one any better. It just wouldn't happen. the top. 
All right, let's get the ratchet strap on here and see how much we can suck this gap tight. There we go. Nice. All right, it's all nailed up good, so we take this ratchet strap off. Hopefully that gap stays the way it is. Came back a uh, 32nd of an inch, maybe. I saw it spring, but that did a good job. Let's see how this one goes. Sometimes you take the bow out of it, on one, and it messes it up on the other side. One at seven and a quarter inches wide to finish this up. All right, last board to rip for this side. Now, if I have to rip a wide board, this is what I look for. So, that's a nice looking board, but that wasn't. So I needed seven and a quarter anyway, so that took off all the nasty area that was gonna be waste. So that's why I chose the board I chose. What, the last siding board for this side? No way. I like it. It's good. and it just makes the job look a lot nicer. Oh, man. All right, we got a little bit of a shadow from the sun. Let's come back out later on when the sun sets and show it to you guys and see what it looks like. It's the first time eating dinner in the outdoor kitchen enclosed. Oh, okay, that's not true. <laughs> enclosed it is. We had lunch in here today and we're already closed. Not all of it. I have to give the corn to the pigs after. They loved it last time. They did? Mm-hmm. You ready to go feed the corn to the pigs? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. You girls want some corn? Want some corn? Want some corn? See the squares? Or throw it in. I'll try giving it to them some fit squares, see what they do. <laughs> oh, you want your corn? Hey. Get your corn. <laughs> I don't think they like it. They do. They sound like pigs There's eating. Your corn. And I know, your I'm just corn. saying, they sound like pigs while they're eating. And your corn. And your corn. These guys are getting big. They're growing huge, aren't big. they? That one's bigger. And that one's ours. Spots is bigger. Mm -hmm. This is pigs isn't far behind. Nope. We enjoyed the corn on the cob, and now they're enjoying the corn on the cob. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pretty cool, huh? I like that when I was eating it, too. <laughs> you were eating it like that, too? I felt like it, yeah. You felt like you were acting like the pigs? Yeah. Here, you get some wood chips and dump some wood chips in here. Yeah. I think I'll probably do that tomorrow. That's why I don't want to let them out. Oh, these are, like, bigger. Mm. Oh, yeah, because I think they're so Okay, I've been working on it. Right. <laughs> I think the pigs have got some apples Thanks. to eat. Thanks to you yeah. and Livy's. Good job. Pigs will be spoiled tomorrow. Here's the final product for the day. We gotta finish up the eave overhang boards, the back side of the trim now, or the back side of the overhang's gotta get sided. 
Then we gotta trim out the windows and trim out the corners. It's looking good. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It's really helping the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at One Acres, a guide to modern home settings, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. 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 <laughs>